Hello once again dear viewers, you're watching Airy TV. Welcome to this uh, special edition of Open Mic uh, with my guest for uh, this uh, evening, Tiffany Haddish. Um, as you can see, I am here uh, at this historic town of Nakfa uh, where we decided to conduct this interview uh, with uh, Tiffany uh, that uh, she's here to literally know about her people's past. Uh, Tiffany, welcome to our program. <laughs> Tiffany, it's, it's, it's always great to have you at uh, our uh, program, uh, Open Mic, uh, and here in Eritrea, because you give life to, to uh, the interview. Uh, it's always uh, fun to have an interview with you. And now, I just, I just want to know, uh, since uh, your last visit, uh, how you have found the country to be at the moment? Well, since my last visit, I've seen a lot of things, uh, and I have to say it's a lot of advancements. Uh, the road to Masawa is not as bumpy as it used to be. It's actually very smooth and very nice ride. I love the road, the road to Masawa. A lot more farmland, a lot of, lot of things growing, which is really exciting to me. Oh, the dam. I saw the dam. It is amazing. It's so beautiful. Um, and the president, he showed it to me. It's really nice. I want to just swim. And I, but I don't think, I think it's for drinking, but I really want to go. I really want to get in there. I've seen way more internet cafes, and that's something I'm like, yes, ooh, wifi, wifi. I need the Wi Fi. So that makes me really happy. Um, and what else? About I've noticed more taxi cabs, too. Uh, I'm like, hey, it's more taxis. Okay. I didn't notice that before, or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. No matter where I go, everyone has a phone now. So that's pretty cool. But I was coming to, you know, I come to Asmata to get disconnected. And here we go, everybody's connected. <laughs> everybody's connected. <laughs> By the way, uh, which other places have you visited uh, in Eritrea besides Asmata, of course? I visited Masawa, Asmata, uh, Nafa, uh, the, the, what's that island called? I've been to uh, Nafa, Dehen, uh went to uh, another, that, there was an island that I went to where there's uh, the, the Afa, Afa, the Afa tribe is. Ooh, okay, let me tell you. The food is really good. They were singing, it was dancing. I went to sleep on one of their like uh, original beds. Ugh, I was knocked out when I tell y'all, I was sleeping so good. And it was outside, like under the sky, the stars and everything. It was so good. And it was some cute men there too. <laughs> but okay. I think they all married, I don't know. <laughs> and my most favorite place that I went to, of all the places, is Mawai. Mawai, Mawari, yeah, Mawari. Cause I worry about my body. Mawari is my favorite place that I visited. Because uh, them hot springs helped my knee, because I hurt my knee when I was dancing. My what eat? My worry is my what eat? My what eat is my favorite place right now. All right, Tiffany, we are in Nakfa, the historic town of Eritrea. Uh, you visited the trenches, and I saw that you got a bit emotional. Uh, I, I want you to tell me more about that. We're here in the historical town of Nakfa, right? And this is the home of the brave, the fighters, the soldiers. Like these people, they, their whole village was bombed. They had to move further away, but they took care of the soldiers. They took care of the freedom fighters. The people that were hurt, they would bring them in, they would take care of them, look out for them. And to, to be like walking through those trenches, seeing how they were like defending the land, you know, and how the enemy was all right there, they were right there, but they couldn't get to us, you know, they couldn't get, because we had these people sacrificing, fighting, having to be quiet so that the enemy doesn't hear you, having to be, you know, strong, really strong. And to me, I mean, I was going through every emotion in the book, <laughs> every feeling you could feel, I was feeling it. And, um, and I'm still feeling it. I'm still trying to figure out how to process it. And I just, I, it's a lot of pain. It's a lot, a lot of pain. So, um, but still it's so beautiful. 
It's like those trenches are like uh, Eritrea's version of the Great Wall of China. Okay? The Great Trenches of Eritrea. All our freedom fighters, all those people who sacrificed their lives to make sure that, you know, we had our independence, that we have our own land. I think that, I think, I think personally, I feel like it's not recognized enough. And like we're here in Nafa right now, and I saw the trenches and all these things, and I just keep thinking to myself, well, would I have done, would I have done that? Would I have did on uh, carrying that water, carrying the wood? wearing sandals the whole time, like, could I do that? Uh, I don't think so. So my gratitude, like, I'm so grateful for those people that, that did do that and were willing to sacrifice for the future, for their children, for their children's children, you know. To me, it means it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of emotions that I'm dealing with that I'm trying to figure out. How do I process this and like, I can't, I could only imagine someone who actually lived through it, who was there for it. I, I know that hurt is, has to be tremendous to see someone that you care about, your, your friend die right next to you, your home getting blown up. Like, it's, a, it's a sad situation. It's a sad situation in it. And, uh, and the fact that I didn't know about it for so long, you know, that they don't talk about it nowhere else in the world. Like, they're not talking about this. And I'm, I don't understand why no one's talking about it. You know, it makes me really upset, actually. But the fact that I'm here and we can celebrate those people that sacrificed and show our gratitude and appreciation for everyone teaming together and supporting each other and staying strong and not giving up, and the fact that I'm here for that, to me, is, is amazing. And I'm so, so happy and so grateful. Okay, Tiffany, we love you very much. We love your movies. I love them. I love your viewers. I love my people. Uh, and uh, I'm sure my viewers want this uh, uh, to be asked. What have you been up to the past year in the entertainment uh, uh, arena well let me tell you what I've been up to for the past year I started my production company she ready productions um, I'm putting together TV shows and movies uh, I want to be one of my goals is to be able to come here and make some movies you know and give the people here the opportunity to create their own I mean you guys already have your own lane of movies right but like really good ones really and get it out there to the world make sure the world can see how beautiful Eritrea is and how beautiful the people are and how we got great stories to tell here. There are amazing stories to tell here that the world needs to know about, period. So I'm definitely doing that. Uh, I got cartoons coming out and, and all kind of cool stuff. But my goal, you know, my goal is to one day own my own studio so that I can make sure people that work with me have generational wealth. All right, Tiffany, now, uh, I, uh, last year, uh, during our last interview, you had promised us that uh, you were going to bring some of your friends with you. Uh, Kevin Hart, whom you love very much. Yeah, that's my brother. Uh, Will Smith, Queen Latifah, uh, but, and me and my big mouth, I, 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 after we have had our conversation, I started telling people that uh, who and who were coming. Well, I'm still working on it. So tell me, what happened there? I told you. I'm going to try. I can't promise. Okay. I'm going to try. Now, these people working their butts off. You know what I'm saying? They're making movies and everything. So we got to figure it out. Because also, I'm busy too. So if they come with me, we got to make sure our schedules line up. Now, if I send them all by themselves, you're going to have to take care of them. <laughs> I can send them. But you're going to have to take care of them. Well, I would advise. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so, uh, Tiffany, now, uh, if you have any final messages you'd like to tell uh, the people of Eritrea. As the citizen and ambassador of Eritrea, uh, I just, all I have to say is, I'm so happy to be home. I can't wait to keep coming back home and visiting and learning more and more to share with the world. Because the world needs to know how amazing this place is. I'm so happy my daddy was born here.
because now I got a place to go. Always a pleasure to have you back to your second home, Eritrea. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for your time and hope uh, to see you uh, next year. Thank you. I appreciate you.